Hey guys, what's up? Mr. Surplus now bringing the third part to this video on the uh, Mazda Nagant M44 that I was able to buy from my buddy Jet Fuel 545. Um, if you're just tuning to this video or checking out this video for the first time, go check out the first two parts. But anyways, I have three videos of his uploaded on my channel in my favorites. So you can see the rifle when from the time he bought it through he through the refurbishing process and also the uh, final outcome of the rifle how he ended up, which he did finish up in a very nice um, in a very nice uh, golden pecan color and finished it off with uh, polyurethane and. Um, semi-gloss sorry for that noise in the background that's my wife uh, washing clothes but anyways um, this is the rifle right here okay and I was saying on the other parts of the video how I decided after I got the rifle to get the uh, the uh, end caps of the uh, handguard and polish those I think it came out really nice okay it breaks up the rifle really nice from the bluing I did the front end cap and then I did the uh, the back one also polished it really good with my Dremel tool uh, as I show you this rifle I want you to check out the quality of the bluing on this M44 you're not gonna see one like this I guarantee you that look at the handguard bands on this the bluing even the edges they're not they're not worn out it's like a deep rich uh, polished blue I mean this is like something you find on a brand new revolver from Smith & Wesson and stuff that you might purchase you know I mean it's on real how this the shape of this rifle and I have a laminated M34 and I was trying to research what kind of wood this might be and due to the color the shades and the different shades of darkness in this different area uh, I think it's called they, they build some of these with the um, birch wood and also arctic uh, birch and I think that's what this is because you see how it's got like some dark spots especially that yellowish right up there that's my favorite part of the rifle like right up there as you can see um, this is the gun up close I finally got my red Russian star on there I like to do that to make it more authentical, you know. And some guys have said, oh, but why did you do that on the rifle? Well, you know what? It's my rifle. It's part of my collection. And when I display them, it gives it a really good authentical look. And I'm not going to sell these rifles. They're going to stay with me. So, you know, I don't know what you guys think. Some guys say, oh, would you put stickers? Dude, are you blind? Can't you see that that's not a sticker? That's a pin and I grind off the back of the pin the little nail part and I use a, a very good epoxy okay and it goes on there and it gives it an awesome look look at that look at that thing look at that it looks like this little display here could be in a museum or something but anyway that's the rifle it's a beautiful wood he did an excellent job with that semi gloss main wax or polyurethane and then that golden pecan man it makes it look really nice it, it, you can see the grain and the different shades of the wood on it really good and like I was telling you guys in the first two parts of the video either, one, either the first one or the second one I was thinking of refinishing the rifle and I decided not to do it I decided not to do it because um, I just I like the way it looks man so I said you know what it's gonna stay with me and that's it. Look at the bluing on this rifle. The top part. I have not seen a Mazen Negan like this. Look at the condition of that bolt. How polished it is. The bluing on it. You can see it there. It's a 19. 1945 it's got the Russian crest there the hammer and the sickle 
This is an easy rifle. I think it's called uh, Ishvik or Ishnik, whatever. It's not the Tula. There were only two factories. A lot of people call them easy because of the hard pronunciation of the real name. Serial number is uh, 4 b 4B495, the butt plate, magazine, everything matches in this rifle, the bolt, okay, and it's a 1945 model, okay, excellent shape, very shiny bolt, look at that bolt, okay, there we go, 4B4, 95 you guys can see the the serial there also you could see it back here okay 4 B95 everything matches on this Excellent, excellent shape. The way this rifle looks. So, I mean, I'm just really, really glad that he actually decided to sell it to me to be able to complete my collection. Very nice rifle. Show you guys the other side. This rifle is in extremely, extremely gray shape. So I keep, you know, let, telling everybody if you guys can find these type of guns go ahead and purchase it there's the hat there's the other one and just to show you guys real quick the numbers on the bottom 4B 495 look at the condition of that of the bluing on that that is factory bluing from Russia Look at that, how that thing shines. It's not worn out, nothing. This gun is in brand new shape. Try to get the other side there. Look at that. Look how dark that blue is. See, it actually looks blue. That's the gun right there. Alright, so just give me a minute here to put this thing back together give it one second there we go so I don't know what you guys think leave me a message if you think it looks really nice the M44 carbine okay these rifles were produced all the way from 1944 Actually, the test production started in 1943 when they were thinking about replacing the, uh, the M38. So, but find the main, you know, production started in 1944 and it went all the way through 1948. Even though those later years after 1945, the production were less and less, being that the uh, SKS model 45 started you know getting into the scene so and then you guys know not later on in 19 in 47 the AK came out so I mean these rifles took a turn quickly but um yeah there was like millions of these made I think like 1944 they made like three million something three million nine hundred of them and all this information I got it from mazinagon.net okay but um yeah this is a 1945 uh easy 
M44 in great shape. I go. I hope you guys like the video. All right. Leave me any comment and subscribe to my channel. Check you guys out later.